The topic we're going to cover today will be the fake exchange, which sounds like a joke, but it's not. And the fake exchange actually is something very important. And probably you have seen many top grandmasters using it without even to know that there is a topic like this. Well, surely after the end of the lesson, you'll be more or less experts in this and you'll learn how we can use it in our own games. At this point, the bishop on d7 is relatively bad. Look at the pawns for the black side. All of his pawns are over the white squares. We can talk about the pawn h7, g6, d5, b7. They're all bad. And they are the reason why the light square bishop is a potentially bad bishop here. So trading off the light square bishops, you're minimizing the chance of blocking him in the future. And also you will help black to get rid of the bishops, maybe to get rid of the rooks as well. So let's say bishop b5 is coming. I need to double check what to do, but the first move coming to my mind is something like king d8, with the idea to provoke all these exchanges in this way. 